Hi, my name is Fiona Lee Jones, and I'm a composer, pianist, and educator. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to find the names of the black keys on the piano. So when musicians talk about the notes A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, they're referring to the natural notes or the white keys on the piano. So in a previous video, I covered the names of how to find the white keys on the piano. And you'll need to know the names of the white keys before we can figure out the names of the black keys because the black key names are based off of the white keys. So notes can be altered using accidentals. And accidentals are known as sharps and flats, and those can raise or lower the pitch of a note. So think of the black keys as having nicknames. So each black key has two names, its sharp name and its flat name, depending on if we had to raise or lower the closest white key to get there. So a sharp is a symbol that tells us to raise the note by a half step. A half step is the smallest step we can take on the piano going up or going down. So if we take middle C and we raise it by a half step, we get to this black key, which is known as C sharp. If we find D and we go up a half step, this note right here, we arrive at D sharp. If we find F and go up a half step, we get to F sharp. If we find G and we go up a half step, we get to G sharp. If we find A and go up a half step, we get to A sharp. Okay, so now a flat is a symbol that tells us to lower a note by a half step. So now if we take D and we lower it a half step, we go to this note, which is known as D flat. If we find E and we lower it a half step, we get to the note E flat. If we take G and we lower it a half step, we get to G flat. If we find A and we lower it a half step, we get to A flat. If we find B and lower it a half step, we get to B flat. So now that you know how to name the sharp and flat names for each of the black keys, let's practice naming and harmonic notes. So when a black key has a sharp and flat name that are written differently but are actually the same note on the piano, they're called enharmonic notes. An example would be C sharp and D flat, okay? So this note is known as C sharp because I took C and I went up a half step, but I can also get there by going from D and lowering it a half step to D flat. So C sharp and D flat are enharmonic notes because they are written or spelled differently but are actually the same exact note on the piano. Okay, so some homework you can do is to find a random black key and name its sharp and flat name. Okay, so for example, this could be G sharp, but it also could be A flat. This is C sharp, but it's also D flat. This is A sharp, but it's also B flat. This is G sharp, but it's also A flat. This is F, but it's also E sharp. This is E, but it's also F flat. This is C, but it also can be written as B sharp. This is B, but it also can be written as C flat. So a good exercise to do is to find all the sharps, okay? I started off with C sharp and just find all the C sharps on the piano. And then do the same thing for the D sharps, the F sharps, G sharps, the A sharps, and then do the same thing for the flats. Okay, find all the D flats. Find all the E flats. Find all the G flats. Find all the A flats. Find all the B flats. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.